Hi everybody. Uh, for this video I decided to feature uh, a brown wax cylinder uh, from my collection. Um, it actually came from one of several early wooden crates of brown wax cylinders. Uh, mixed in were some black wax cylinders uh, including the uh, very rare uh, advertising uh, cylinder from 1906 uh, by Len Spencer that was only uh, offered to dealers. Uh, that's the uh, two-minute cylinder that begins with I am the Edison phonograph. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So for this particular video I wanted to feature a cylinder as you can see it's missing from this spot here uh, that was in uh, these wooden crates. Uh, it's a interesting home recording from I'm guessing 1900 possibly 1899 um, and it's by the, the fellow introduces the cylinder recording as Bill Nye on tripe. Uh, I don't think it's any relation of uh, to Bill Nye the science guy <laughs> but uh, he definitely has a, a very thick uh, New England uh, accent uh, so I'm guessing he was from perhaps New Hampshire, Maine, uh, possibly Massachusetts, possibly Vermont uh, one of those places. Anyway uh, so it's a very interesting cylinder um, he discusses uh, uh, the bad things about tripe uh, which I've never tried eating tripe and I never will and uh, I suppose uh, I can I certainly agree with everything that this man that this man says anyway uh, about three quarters into the cylinder into this home recording there is a very short perhaps one minute long uh, letter an audio letter that he recorded for a relative um, indicating the passing of uh, I believe he says uh, your uncle Fitzpatrick um, passed away quite suddenly um, so anyway so uh, that's pretty much it uh, there was a wonderful uh, selection of uh, and variation of brown wax cylinders in this group uh, including Uncle Josh in the Paw Paw Valley Railroad, uh, Uncle Josh at Delmonico's, Uncle Josh at the Statue of Liberty was another brown wax cylinder that was in this group. Um, so there was a, a lot of really interesting uh, uh, selections in the brown wax. Uh, plus there was some really, really interesting black wax cylinders in this. So it was a really nice find. Anyway, so when we come back... Uh, we will play, or I will play for you, on my Columbia BKT, um, Bill Nye on Tripe. So, see you in a few. Okay, here we are back again. Uh, as you can see, I've got my Columbia BKT uh, all set up here. And uh, there is the brown wax cylinder. Uh, I'm guessing, again, 1899 perhaps, 1900 home recording and uh, it's introduced as uh, Bill Nye on tripe and it's kind of funny um, I've played it a couple of times uh, and again uh, three quarters of the way through you'll hear uh, perhaps a 15 second pause and then the uh, audio very short audio letter about the passing of uh, uh, this I believe he says Uncle Fitzpatrick um, so it's kind of interesting that they people use these things as uh, these Bromwick cylinders that is to record uh, greetings uh, and news uh, with their uh, friends and relatives so anyway it's a it's a very well recorded cylinder I, I'm impressed by uh, this the man that did this uh, it's it's quite loud and clear so anyway um, I won't hold you up any longer. I hope you enjoy this uh, home recording from 
1899-ish. Okay, here we go. Bill Nye and Tribe. Sometimes you see a man order a Tribe at a hotel, but he always looks hard as though he hated himself and everybody else. He tries to look as though he enjoyed it, but he does not. Strife is indigestible and looks like an India rubber apron for a child to sit on. When it is picked, it looks like dirty clothes put to soak. And when it is cooking, it looks as if the cook was boiling a dirty dishcloth. On the table, it looks like glue and tastes like a piece of oil silk umbrella cover. A stomach that is not lined with a corrugated iron would be turned wrong side out for the smell of strife. A man eating tripe at a hotel looks like an Arctic explorer dining on his boots or chewing a piece of frozen raw dog. You see a man eating tripe and he tries to cut off a slug of it and he acts as though he hopes the knife would fail to do its work. And when he gets a piece in his mouth, he chews it with long teeth, the way the girl with an ulcerated tooth chews rubber gum. Any man but a confirmed tripe eater had rather eat the two heads of a snare drum, sticks and all, than to tackle a piece of bulletproof tripe. Those who eat tripe are men who have had their stomachs play mean tricks on them. And they eat tripe to get even with their stomach. And then they go and take a Turkish bath to sweat it out of the system. There is a superstition handed down from a former generation of butchers who sold all the meat and kept the tripe for themselves and the dogs. But dogs of the present day will not eat tripe. You throw a piece of tripe down in front of a dog and see if he does not put his tail between his legs and go off and hate you. Tripe may have a fear of you, but it is not as food. It may be good to fill into a burglar-proof safe with a cement and chilled steel, or it might answer to use as a breastplate in time of war, or it would be good to use as bumpers between cars, or it would make a good face for a pile driver, but when you come to smuggle it into the stomach, you do wrong. A piece of Turkish towel cooked in actual grease would be pie compared with tripe. I haven't sent you a letter since the last time I wrote to you because we have moved from our former place of living. I didn't know whether a letter would find you, but now I was pleasure they got me pen to inform you of the death of your own living uncle Kilpatrick, who died very suddenly last week. And that's it. I apologize for um, having to... It's not a very exciting looking uh, video. I realize that because the sound, I, to get the correct uh, volume, I had to, uh, you know, hold the, the one of my camcorders kind of close. So I apologize for that. But to me, the most important part was the audio. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, that uh, kind of home, or sorry, brief home recording by a gentleman named Bill Nye. That's what it sounds like anyway. Uh, so, that is it for this uh, video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this and I'm hoping that uh, I can pick out some more brown wax cylinders uh, from this uh, collection that I bought a few weeks ago and uh, present them for you. Okay? So, as always, thank you so very much for stopping in, and I hope you enjoyed this.